What's up mga Orions? Welcome back again to my channel. This is Oriology. At sa mga hindi pa nakapag-subscribe dyan, please subscribe to my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lessons, lalong lalo na sa mga grade 11 student na nasa STEM. So ang content natin ay mathematics, basic calculus, and general mathematics. So ngayon, talakayin natin ang limit of infinity of polynomial function. Limit at infinity of polynomial function. So, ito lang iti-take note nyo, no? tatandaan, that the limit of 1 over x raised to n, where x approaches to positive or negative infinity, is equal to 0. Kahit sa susunod na mga lesson, tandaan nyo to, na 1 over x raised to n, where x approaches to positive or negative infinity, is equal to 0. At saka, bawal ang infinity minus infinity. So, tandaan nyo yan ha? Bawal na bawal ang infinity minus infinity. Okay. Next. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung limit at infinity of polynomial function. So, try natin itong apat na examples. Okay. Number 1. Limit of 2x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 8. X. Okay? So, kung i-substitute natin agad dyan, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 positive infinity raised to 4 minus positive infinity squared minus 8 infinity times infinity. Okay? So, dito pa lang, Infinity raised to 4, so marami raised to 4 is infinity times 2, infinity yan. Minus, infinity times infinity, that is positive infinity, time, times the negative, so that is negative infinity. Minus, infinity times 8, so that is also uh, infinity. So, dito pa lang, Bawal na yan. So, ibig sabihin, mali itong ganitong pamamaraan. So, anong gagawin? Gagawin dyan, ipa-factor itong polynomial expression na to. So, limit of 2x raised to 4 minus x squared minus 8x. Factor mo yan. So, since lahat sila may x, pero ang ilalabas mong x ay x raised to 4. So, x raised to 4 so matitira sa loob ay 2 minus kung ito naman ang matitira sa loob naman ay 1 over x squared minus kapag ito naman lalabas mo yung x raised to 4 so 1 over x cube okay so yan yung magiging factor nya so kung i-check mo x raised to 4 times 2, 2 x raised to 4, x raised to 4 times 1 divided by x raised to 2, x squared, x raised to 4 times 1 divided by x cubed, 8 x, 8 pala to, 8 x, lang, so tama yung pagka factor natin, so after that, we can let x approaches now to positive infinity, so substitute na tayo, so, the limit of 8, 8, x raised to 4, that will become positive x raised to 4 times, nasa loob, 2 minus 1 over infinity, that will become infinity squared, minus 8 over infinity cubed. So, infinity times infinity times infinity times infinity, that is already in an infinity times 2 minus sabi natin kanina pag 1 over infinity dito pag naging infinity yung denominator that is already a 0 dito rin 8 over infinity will become 0 so infinity times 2 the answer is positive infinity okay pa next Number 2. 
ganun din yung proseso. So, kapag isubstitute kasi natin to magiging infinity minus infinity, which is bawal. So, ang gagawin natin, i-factor natin ulit to. So, the limit x squared times, matitara sa loob ay 1 minus 1 over x. Finactor lang yan. Okay? So, where x approaches 2, positive infinity. So, pwede na tayong mag-substitute. Infinity, magiging squared yun, times 1 minus 1 over infinity. So, ito, magiging 0. So, ito naman, still positive infinity. Infinity times infinity, syempre, infinity. So, infinity times 1, so the answer is positive infinity. Nakuha pa. Next, number 3. Ito, pag nag-substitute ulit tayo ng negative infinity, magkakaroon tayo ng infinity minus infinity. So, bawal yon So, wag na natin ano hen. So, teknika na natin na i-factor muna. So, the limit of... So, ang i-factor natin, lalabas natin palagi ay yung highest exponent. So, x cube. Ano matitira sa loob? Negative 2 plus... Dito naman, kung x cube ang lalagay natin, iba ba tatanggalin... Makulun tayo ng 3 over x para maging x squared kung i-multiply natin to Plus 5 over x squared. Kung multiply natin to naman, x cubed times 5 divided by x squared, 5x lang. Plus, wala naman tong x cubed, so ibig sabihin, 4 over x cubed ang matitira sa loob. So, ayan yung matitira. Where x approaches to negative infinity. So, isubstitute lang yung negative infinity. Negative infinity times a raised to 3 times negative 2 plus 3 over negative infinity plus 5 over negative infinity squared plus 4 over negative infinity cubed. Okay, so, so, na-substitute na natin, negative infinity times negative infinity, positive times negative infinity, so the answer is negative infinity. Okay, ito naman, negative 2, so over infinity, that will become plus 0, plus 0, plus 0. Okay, so negative infinity times negative 2, so the answer is positive infinity. Okay, gets pa? Ayan, last example natin. Okay, so, ito. Ganun ulit, factor lang yan. So, ang ilalabas natin ay yung pinakamalaking variable, ay exponent. Yung variable ang pinakamalaking exponent. So, matitara dito ay 1 third. Dito naman ay 2 over x raised to Four plus 8 over x raised to 5. So, kung i-check natin, yun yung magiging product. So, we have the limit of x approaches to negative infinity. So, substitute tayo. Negative infinity raised to 5 times 1 third plus 2 over infinity raised to 4 plus 8 over infinity raised to 5 okay so negative infinity raised to 5 that is negative infinity kasi add number yon. negative times negative times positive times negative times negative positive then times negative pa raised to 5 kasi negative infinity so they will become here 1 third minus 0 ay plus 0 minus 0 so the answer is negative infinity. So that's all about limit at infinity of polynomial function. So sana natuto kayo. God bless.